opening day 2024 here in downtown Detroit at the Grand Slam Fest 2024 at the Detroit Opera House parking lot, heated tents, 13 DJs, the biggest opening day bash in Detroit. And today's broadcast is brought to you by Glorious Cannabis and Soroki's Crispy Chicken and Pizza. Perfect. My name is Neil Rule. That guy over there, the people's champion, D-Mac Darren McCarty. We got KG. We got we got Chris in the house. We are. It's Big all sus on. in the house. It's a huge day. Big Sus, I'm the only one who's out called Chris Big Sus because it goes way back to the roots of Woodward Sports. Bro, happy to have you here. KG, good to see you. Good to see you. Um, one thing that if you uh, tuned in to Wake Up Woodward, I found out something that I really enjoy. Long drink flannel is my favorite flannel. <laughs> so come on down, come on out, celebrate with us opening day. I actually... Flannel's tolerable today, too. And one thing is for sure, guys, like, the vibe down here is different. This is a five-in-one vibe. Oh, yeah. This is a five-in-one yeah. vibe. This isn't a one-in-four vibe. This isn't a three games back already. This, you can tell the team is five-in-one. I'll say it like that. Absolutely. No, there is uh, spice in the city, and... You know what? You win the first two series of the year, and you know it's unfortunate the way they they even lost. It could be six and zero right now, but I think uh, with Derek Stuvel on the mound, coming home, the guys that have experienced opening day before here um, at Comerica Park, and for the young guys, it'll be a new experience also. So I'm real excited. Obviously, a uh, little bit of a different lineup in the last few days, but uh, excited for them to, to attack. And is Almago back? Did I see that yesterday? So RBI Almago's back. <laughs> we'll see today. I don't know. He's been known to come up clutch uh, opening day. So, hey, if you're not down here, you're missing out. That's for sure. Jump into that WoodwardSports.com chat thread. Get your thoughts in there. The party is rocking, as you can tell. Huge crowd around hand here, as we knew it would be, because it is every opening day. And look. The people are talking already, so DMAC, let's get into it. Uh, WoolworthSports.com chat thread, we need a Spencer tracker. Now I can confirm this. I had a drink with Spencer Raxter already. It was not his first drink. It was not his last drink. Far from it. It was far from it. Speak it won't the be God there. There he is, everybody. It's Spencer Raxter Day. Where you at? You're not. You're not around on Spencer Raxter Day. Great party, bud. Your host. Thanks for hosting a great party. Yeah. But, you know what? That that's good. A little early. So can we get an update? Where are we? Uh, where are we at as far as? Uh, I saw you do. What was it, Don Julio? Hey, 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 hey. I need a screenshot of what you guys are seeing on the screen right now. I have to have it. Look at that. <laughs> it's, it's my big baby boy, Spenny Rod. Spen Mo Rod. If you want to do a shot with Darren McCarty, yeah, absolutely. This is the vessel for it. Six and eight. Six and eight. Yes. Uh, no, there it is. And uh, D-Map Zoom. Spenny's messed up by now. No, he's not. He's in prime form. He's not this even, is his. Oh, this is where he lives. Hit, he hasn't even hit a stride yet. But no. He's just warming up. Thunderstruck, that's warm up for him. A absolutely. So, yes, the vibes are immaculate. Feel just real small because I didn't really realize this as much. They're all tall boys. Like, we're, we're all, t you know what I mean? It's not like your regular 12 ounce. He's not on a one to one ratio. No, he's actually on a five to four tall, ratio. Like, long drinks, but the beers are tall, boys. So he's getting it in. Yeah. Uh, and John. Everybody else is. John Effing Lord. Spenny, Spenny, Spenny. Uh, Tammy Chin. I am still worried about Spencer's liver. There's no need to be. He's built for this. He's built for this. He, we don't he's, have to, trust me, I got, I got the clock on his liver. He's got it 20 more years. Right, uh, DNT, NT, what a start to the weekend. The vibes look immaculate. McAfee live from WrestleMania. Tigers at one, SmackDown tonight. The biggest wrestling weekend in history. Your Tigers are five and one. DMAC, they are in first place. This is real. It's real. It's well, real. You know what? It's real because it looks 
different also, right? I think it was brought up earlier is the job that A.J. Hinch, um, if anybody has the pulse of their team this early in the season, which we hadn't seen in past seasons by getting off the slower starts, he's made the right moves at the right time. The bullpen's been, you know, pretty much immaculate. But you look at what Matt Manning did. We can't, you know, for a, for a young kid who had to be disappointed getting sent down after the spring that he had and to go down to Toledo and just come back up here and, and give no hits through five and two thirds, you know, four walks, three Ks or whatever, like what else do you want? So these guys, it's the way they're doing it, the way they're grinding out at bats, the way that they're staying in the game. Um, you know, yes, we want to see, we saw Riley Green get a home run at a, at a key moment. We saw Cole Keith in extra innings. Yeah, we want Torque to get going and there's still concerns, they're not a finished product yet. But see, how can you not love, if you're a baseball fan, what this team's provided this first two series? T-Mac, I have to say this as well. Um, Message here from Seth Floyd. Eat them up, Tigers, from Tampa, predicting a 6 nothing win. Torque, two homers. Nice. About to get that tequila going down here. Let's go. And you know what? Live your best life. Yeah. Everybody, like, you want to get irresponsible today, you get irresponsible. You you do whatever it is you do on an opening day. That's what we do on Spenmo Rocks Day. Let the dogs off the chain today, D-Mac. Off the leashes. Let's off go. the leashes. There you go. But, but D-Mac, I do want to say this, like, real talk. Coming down here today, park in. We took the people mover over here, all that stuff. Everything's branded for the NFL draft. The town is hype. The baseball team's five and one. The Red Wings are in the playoff. This is what, this is what we we used to pray for times like this. Think about we, what you just said, you know. You know, the fact of this city coming back. This is just the preview or the exhibition for a couple weeks when the whole world. But they're in the, the mix. Here. Like it is, it is like hosting the Olympics, absolutely. And from what I saw, you took the people over. I like to park at MGM and walk through the city and feel the buzz and stuff like that. Yeah, it's electric down here, and it's only going to get bigger with the events. But we deserve it. Not embarrassed of it or anything like that. This hey, is so our city. We're out here. This is our day. This is our party. We're right? back, baby. We're b you know we what? are back. Talk about it. Detroit Real is Rose back. Says we're back. HR department and the Minister of Accountability will agree. We're back, baby. We are back, baby. We are so back. Uh, KG here in the house. Uh, Sticky Finger says, I feel it. I No, I just, DMAC for real, because it, was, it wasn't even something like coming downtown, seeing all the branding and everything like that. The stages are being built. Everything's ready to go for the draft. We're, the baseball team's 5-1. KG, I'm all the way in. I know you had hey. questions. I know you did. I'm all the way in, KG. Hey. You know what? Have, have they played You know, have they played bad teams? Yeah, so what? I don't care. <laughs> it all evens out. It, it all does. evens out, man. <laughs> this is all I wanted, man. I just want you to come home. That's it. I'm home. KG, I've always been home, brother. I've always been home. And we're out here right now. And look. Did did we see a sign yesterday, right? Like like Pete Alonso in that second game. Yeah. He's an elite hitter. An elite home run hitter yeah. in baseball. One of the best in baseball. Did you see the threw home a, run threw, he hit? Threw him a great pitch, but he's elite. And do we have that yeah. in the lineup? No, we don't, but I don't care. Right. We're five and one. Their season's over. We're five and one, <laughs> D Mac. <laughs> The chase is on. Hey. What's the magic number? Get the math guys out here. Damn Where's right. the analytics? Let's go. I'm going to take one right out of Long Drink Flannel's book this morning because I heard him on Wake Up Woodward say, you're not into winning games, you're into winning series. Yeah. Right? Which is exactly where we're at. And that's why we're back or whatever because now our expectations to compete and win not just a game here and there, but the win series, right? That's the focus, and, and I thought that was such a, a great point. And to me, another sign that, as you said, we're back. As a city, doesn't mean that it's, you're not gonna lose. What's the longest losing streak you're gonna have this year? Probably five games. Yeah, five or six. It's like, gonna happen, but the fact Every that, team goes through that. Absolutely. Yeah. See, we and, have to remember that. DMAC, it's been a long time since the baseball team's been good, or we even thought it's good. Like, things have changed a little bit. And it, it has. You know who Neil is? What? He's Uncle Neil. We all got that uncle that's the fan for all the sports teams, right? Yeah. And when they're going, 
right? He's okay, I can see it, and he'll be behind it. But the minute there's a crack, he's got to bring it up. Like, he's always got to say, you know, we're, I don't care, we're 5 and 1. Yeah, we play bad teams, right. but we're 5 and 1. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. So, doesn't matter. Even, it doesn't matter because the fact is that even Uncle Neil, right? The truth is, is that he's in. He is And he in. believes, like, you turn him around to whatever. But again, it's also, too, with new information, the eyeball test and what we've seen. Yeah. Right? I think that that's what's given him. So. Woodworksports.com chat thread. DNC and T, it's radiating through the screen. I can't lie. Uh, Sean Miller, love the positive vibes. Rob Cottingham, April and the D is back. Uh, back. John Epping, John, John Epping Lord. KG, so proud of Neil right now. <laughs> I am. Are you proud? Yes, I am. I just want to make you proud, KG. Listen, and I understand your gripes with the team, but this is what I wanted all along. Just support these young guys, man. They just take it a series at a time. That's all we can no, do. No, KG, like, look, we're in it now. Like, oh, yeah. we're in it. I invest too much time into this team to not be in it. I understand. I'm in it. And, yeah, I'm always down to roll with the guys. Always. My only issue is some philosophical things, but today's right. not the time for that stuff. It's not. Today, look, look around this and look, right they now. They gave you what you asked for, a fast start in April. That was all I asked for. Hey, and look here we, we are. At. Here we are. We're, we're off. We're running. We're getting into it. And, and I love the way uh, El Gato, I'm on my way down there right now. Come on through the Grand Slam Detroit party. We're here yeah. next to Detroit Opera House. Yeah, absolutely. Having a blast. Ben Morax hosting the party. Look at him. You can see him over your shoulder. Look at him getting down in the corner. Is he in the screen? <laughs> we, can, we can't quite see. There he is right there. You see him? There's uh, Smitty in the back. Turn it up. Turn it up. Hey. Oh, my God. Look at that man. Look at that man, everybody. You can't, you can't beat it. This, this man is opening day. This man right here. It's not even no yet. <laughs> it's not even. We're not even to the first break of the show. We're, and this man's living his best life. This is it, everybody. Everybody get in. They're five and one. We're talking Tigers. We got a top five list today. Your top five Detroit Tigers of all time. All time. All time. Uh, I'll be in that as well. DMAC, I have Spenny's list. Uh, obviously, Spenny's in the streets today. We've yeah. let Spenny loose. Yeah, we have. You guys should all be loose, too. Um, no Chad Fisher. He has not, quote, groped four women already. <laughs> Uh, no, he has not, not done any of that. Guy. He's had four drinks oh, yeah. in the last Over hour. There, probably. He's had that for sure. Um, real cream of wheat. Tell Spenny to get back and do his job. This is Spenny's job today. Spenny! <laughs> Spencer Raxter, everybody. All right, when we come back, we're getting into it. The Tigers are 4-1. and one. We're talking Detroit Tigers. We're getting into all that. The vibes here are pumping. Get your drinks on. If you're at work right now, you can drink on the job. Ah, I say it's okay. Have right. a free for all. HR's, Have a free for all. HR's closed today. At, HR's closed. But absolutely. Hey, maybe you're not a drinker like me. Well, maybe so then what should they do? That you like. Well, I got something for you. How about the new glorious ice water bubble hash? Free roll now with diamonds constantly pushing the green. The best cannabis experience, perfect boost, comes from the added touch of pure THC diamond dust, allowing flour with only the highest terms. That's flavor making the best, even better. Take it from me, Glorious Cannabis. Check out your local retailer at Dispo, wherever you go, or GloriousCannabis2Ns.com. Shot up. This is for the win. All of Detroit sports teams live on Woodward. All of Detroit sports coverage lives on Woodward Sports. Driving the best in Detroit sports coverage.
After a cold and dreary winter, Metro Detroiters come together for two things. Tigers baseball and the best damned party in the world. A new season of Tigers baseball is here. And we're bringing in the new season as only Woodward Sports knows how. Broadcasting live from the biggest party. It's the Grand Slam Festival at the Detroit Opera House. Come party with 4,000 Detroit sports fans. Starting with Wake Up Woodward and rolling into Big D Energy. This is a party you don't want to miss with Detroit's best DJs, food trucks, and of course, shots. Get your tickets now at GrandSlamFest.com. 21 plus. See you April 5th at the Grand Slam Fest. You have an opinion? Make sure it's seen and heard. Corner, jumper, Tweet us, hop on the YouTube chat, slide in the DMS at Woodward Sports on all social media. For Detroit. By Detroiters. Welcome to the Woodward Sports Network. Visit this dispensary today for exclusive new deals and experience a team that curates an unbelievable atmosphere mixed with fresh. Yes, fresh inventory from Michigan's largest variety of products. Save the date for 20 at this one of best pieces because this one's putting on epic events with over a thousand, yes, a thousand giveaways at each location. Stay tuned here at Woodward Sports for more details. This one is better. Disposhops.com, your local cannabis club. Back at it, Big D Energy, Woodward Sports Network, broadcasting live from Grand Slam Fest 2024 at the Detroit Opera House parking lot. Heated tent, 13 DJs. You know how we're doing it. You've seen Spencer Racks around about. It's the biggest opening day bash in the city. Today's broadcast brought to you by Glorious Cannabis and Sorokis Crispy Chicken and Pizza. Neil Rule, Darren McCarty back here with you. We got Chris in the house. That's old school. That's the old school stuff right there. We got KG. He's really proud of me. Uh, I... I'm back, baby. You are. I'm all the way you back. You never really left, though. I never really left. You had questions. Yeah, that was I had it. to test you. That's all. Yeah, but we, you know, we've been talking about Detroit sports and the vibes, and everybody's fired up. Uh, and and I love all the comments except for one. Uh oh. Neil, El Mago is back. You can't deny it. I mean. <laughs> okay. Well, let's take a look then, shall oh, we? Is it hobby watch. All right. So, he's hitting 211. His OPS is 411. And he has two RBIs. But I guess that's back for El Mago. You know what? Today, El Mago's back. Yes. Oh, All right, he's back. You. Look at it. He's, he's back. Javi is the classic tale of you got to watch the game. You can't just go off the stats. He's the classic tale of that. I mean, just in this case, he's he's contributed to winning. You know what? Today I'll let it slide. He's contributed to winning. He has. Today I'll let it slide. Javi's back. <laughs> Wait, Javier <laughs> Baez is back, Wait, baby. Neil, I sort of used that in my game. He didn't have to look at the stats sheet. He had to sort of watch the game, see me play. So, well, you yeah. saying I got a little Javi? I don't know. But Javi's back. He's so. back, though. Today he's back, everybody. And we're back. As a matter of fact, the... Uh, the lineup has dropped for uh, the game today. You know what? Because it's here. It's opening day. That's what we're doing. Uh, Matt Bierling will lead off and play right field. Andy, Ab Andy Abania is playing second today. Okay. Uh, Spencer Torkelson batting third, playing first base. Riley Green, who snapped out of it a little bit yesterday. He did. Snapped out a little bit. Uh, he's playing left field, batting cleanup. Uh, Mark Canna will do the designated hitting. KG's love child, Gio Urshela, hey, playing Gio third base. Let's go, hey, Gio, Gio, Gio Urshela baby. getting a pop from the crowd. Yeah. You got to like that. That's right. Uh, Jake Rogers will catch. Yeah. Javier Baez, he's back. He's so back, he's hitting seventh today. All right. Seventh or playing eight. shortstop. Parker Meadows in center field, hitting eight. And yeah. uh, Tarek Skubal, of course, uh, on the bump. So, so there is that. The wind's picking up. You know what? So what? Whatever, man. It's opening day, dude. Whatever. Um, but yes, Casey Mize yesterday. And this was something where we talked about, look, I know the box score wasn't what everybody wanted the box score to see, but you guys talk about uh, Javi Baez and how you have to look deeper. I think with Casey Mize yesterday, you have to look deeper than the box score, DMAC. Yeah. This was a dude's first 
first start in almost two years, man. 700 days. Okay, I liked what I saw out of Casey Mize. Yeah, absolutely. Just for him to be back, it didn't look like he labored at all. It's, yeah, like, I mean, literally over two years. So I don't know what you expected. I think you got more out of him than really that maybe A.J. Hitch even thought. So I think, it's like I said, it's, it's staying healthy and got through it. Yeah, did he look nervous a little bit or did, you know, a little bit of control issues? Sure, but but he he looked good to me. I, I well, like and the, and the I velo. Like, I like what I saw. The velo was high. He's pumping 95, oh, right, 96. That, and, that's, yeah. and I think would that be number one if you were going into the game? What is his consistency at that? So you can always work back to that. But I think people don't realize it. Like seven, that's like, you know, over two years. Right. That's crazy. No, so, you know, you, you, you take it. You certainly take it. Um, you know, we'll get into the game today a little bit coming up uh, a little bit later on. I will say this, though, DMAC. They're looking at three games in 24 hours. That's, that, well, that is pretty tough. wild. I think that you saw that in the way that they used the bullpen yesterday and the doubleheader and stuff like that. Like, that's what I mean, AJ Hitch has full grasp of this lineup and this pitching staff. And, you know, just going back a little bit to Mize, I'm going to combine the Mize and Manning starts, right, and look at it like, holy cow, did, did I get more out of what I absolutely thought I would get out of both of them starting the doubleheader the first few years? For sure. So that gave me a lot of confidence moving forward because I think they're both more comfortable yeah and then matt manning yesterday in the second game pitched very very well yeah. uh, also had the no hitter and look can we do this and this is why jason benetti is elite he's like hey he's got a no hitter going it's my job to tell you what's going on. He's got a no-hitter going. <laughs> you know what? Jason Benetti, an announcer, has no control over the game. He has no influence on the Tigers giving up a hit. I, I love that he did he that. Was, he was the other Uncle Kenny. The yeah. other Uncle Kenny. Enough's enough. This is garbage. There's no announcer's <laughs> dicks. I'm telling you that right now. Got a no-hitter through the fourth. My I, job. I love that. Facts. I wonder. You know what? I, what did he say that was wrong? Nothing. No. No, it was all factual. And that's why, like, I'll ask Broder, because, like, Broder strikes me as somebody that might have got upset. Broder, were you mad that Benetti brought up the fact he had a no-hitter? You weren't at all? Okay. And this is coming from a guy that struck out George Springer in college. That's a fact. That happened. On the hill. That man struck out George Springer in a college game, playing for University of Michigan. Yeah. That Michigan man over there. George Springer, not Javi Baez. Yep. Absolutely. Made him look like Javi Baez. Made him look like Javi Baez. Hey, did Springer swing at one that was three feet out of the strike zone? Ooh, oh, looking. Struck out. Look look That's Two a flick. Two-seamer looking. Look at it. I love their face. Hey, see how he just... You they, know what's funny? different he, he, He's told that story 3,411 times in his life, dude. You he, were, too. He, <laughs> uh, hello. Hello. I've told a few stories a few a, times a few that few I've been stories, involved no in. Doubt. A few more times. I bet you I got you beat. <laughs> no, I mean, I bet you I got you beaten telling the story. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so don't feel bad. Dude, you didn't tell me he was caught looking, though. You got to make sure I know. Two, and then you got to do the two finger, two seamer. <laughs> that, that's a four seamer with four, right? Two, two, four. Uh, WilbertSports.com. I love it. WilbertSports.com, Matthew Kruger, uh, Jesse's Girls, the best song so far. Uh, easy. Yeah, keep a monitor on the DJ. Tell me what you think about the DJ. Give me live feedback Wait, in you know real time. You know it's um, slapping when Pitbull's rocking. What's that? You know it's slapping when Pitbull's rocking in yeah. the background. I know. Uh, Detroit Dabber 313. I just parlayed the Tigers money line, Wings money line, and Raymond a point. F it. Let's go. Hey, live your life. Get, get, get irresponsible today. Oh, yeah. Like, for real. Like, you have the pass today. Everyone has the pass today. Get irresponsible out here. Whatever whatever that is to you, do what you do. There you go. He doesn't say that at all very often, so take advantage. <laughs> no, absolutely. Uh, real cream of wheat. Is Spenny even going to make it to his show at 5 o'clock? Well, spoiler alert, he's on it too. Yeah. So, yeah, he, I, he's going to make it till 2 o'clock. There's no doubt. He'll make it to 2 a.m. I, I almost think that must see the TV, at least to begin with. No, no, there's no doubt. 
There's no doubt he'll be fine. What's the but no, no, Tigers will be up three nothing. But yeah, D Mac. I mean, oh, what about this too? You hear the Jared Goff chants at City Field yesterday? How cool. How that cool. was dope. Hey, hey, for not many people there, there was definitely a Tiger contingent behind the bench. You can hear him yelling, "Let's go Tigers!" Jared Goff. You know what I'm starting to think about Dan the Jared Campbell Goff crowd? Yelling Dan Campbell's name. You know what I'm starting to think about the Jared Goff crowd? Is I think it's like 98% support, but the 2% are so loud about it. Like they're they're prepared to go down. They're they're prepared to go down to visit the Titanic for it, man. Yeah. Like that's it, that's what I've noticed. And like the people that are that are trash talking it and stuff like that, they're just a 2% crowd that's loud. That's it. Isn't that the way of the world? I guess so. I, I, I guess that is. Um, but yeah, oh, and then the other thing too, Riley Green yesterday, yeah. showing signs of life. Well, yeah, you know, that, that's the one thing is that, and if you're going to say, who do you think's going to break out or get back on track quicker, I, to me, the eyeball test tells you Riley Green's closer than Torque for some reason. You know, even though I said, to, like, to, how would it, the Angel Hernandez hit by the pitch. Thank you for bringing that up. So, so my only concern, right, is and when we're talking about that, if you, so there was a pitch earlier in the, uh, late in the game that uh, Torque reacted, he got hit in the hand, but Angel Hernandez called it a foul ball. But I thought it was reviewable, so anything like that. What I didn't like in saying to answer my own question about I see signs of Riley Green not just the home run but his swings and his at bats coming out of it because Torque was still upset about that after and it, it was like I had said to myself don't get thrown out don't go tripping at the umpire and the first base coach did a good job getting through it but to me that's a focus thing so so I think he's pressing more I think he'll find his way but I really I, I thought those two games the doubleheader Riley Green really dug in and I think He'll be fine. Hopefully, he continues to do that tonight, today. But, but yeah, it was one of those moments I remember going, okay. When he hit the, you know, just the swings. His swings look better. It did. All right. The Angel Hernandez thing we're going to talk about when we come back. Tell them about Guardian That's, Alarm, D-Mac. No, we're going to talk about it. 100%. Now, Guardian I, Alarm would have never blown that call, Angel. <laughs> That's for sure. They would have had your back. Anyways, let Guardian Alarm offer you customized solutions from real expert professional technicians. We take the time to recommend security automated solutions specific to your needs, but I need you to call the number today, 1-800-STAY-OUT. 24-7 professional monitor, call anytime, day or night, go to the Guardian team member. We'll stay on the phone as long as it's needed, but I need you to call the number, 1-800-STAY-OUT. Out. Stay out. Technology backed by people who safety and security deserves technology to improve to work, and people have been proven to care. Business pleasure, they don't care. They're protecting us all down here. Opening day, guardian alarm. T they want you to call 1 800. Stay, stay out. out. Stay out of the box score, Oakland A's. Nice one. Stay out of, the box hey, score. Stay out of Major League Baseball. The there you go. Hey, but we still have a guy named Darren McCarty on our side. Hey, our you and McCarty, who've had a good knockdown drag up. There they go, right on the wall. Oh, baby. Talking to one another. Woodward Sports. Where's the most convenient place to get that big fitness energy? It's Planet Fitness! Join today for just $1 down, $10 a month. With over 2,400 locations and equipment for every workout, you can get in, get energized, and get going. And with free fitness training and most clubs open 24 hours, everyone belongs in the judgment-free zone. So join today for $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment, cancel any time. You, you smell that? That's Brad Holmes cooking. And the off-season smells good. Woodward Sports. Get a shot up. This is for the win. All of Detroit sports teams live on Woodward. All of Detroit sports coverage lives on Woodward Sports. Driving the best in Detroit sports coverage. Thank you to all the fans for making Woodward Sports your number one online destination for Detroit sports. We promise not to drop the ball. 
Welcome back to Big D Energy. We are live at opening day. That's right, from the Grand Slam opening day festival here live at the Detroit Opera House parking lot. Heated tents, 13 DJs, the biggest opening day bash in Detroit. Brought to you by Glorious Cannabis and Soroki's Crispy Chicken and Pizza. All right, keeping it pushing, everybody. We are live here in downtown Detroit opening day. And I will say this. As I look at the crowd, I see over to the side over there, and of course, there's always a guy with the Yankees jersey on. Why is there always Everywhere a you go, guy here? there's always some guy with the Yankees jersey on. Is that a Don Mattingly jersey? Is that a Steve Sachs jersey? No, it's not. It's a no, it's not. Is that a Giancarlo Stanton jersey? Do you guys, do you guys still claim Giancarlo Stanton? No, he you said don't. No. <laughs> Okay, they, they say no, they don't. All right, I gotta ask. You know, I gotta ask. I would respect it. If it was Don Mattingly or Steve Balboni, I would respect it. Other than that, I don't respect okay, it. Okay, fair enough. That's fair. What about a Craig, That's fair. What about a Craig Nettles? I think it's fair. Craig Nettles? What's that? A Craig Nettles jersey? Craig, yes, okay. Craig Nettles, yes. He's, he's about the, that's Possibly. where we draw the line, right? Yeah, that's where I draw the line. All right, a uh, couple things here in the chat to clean up. Matthew Kruger, I'm hating on golf till the end. I just got my Titanic ticket. So, Matt, you know what? No, it's opening day. Don't We're not doing do that today. Don't even do it. Because for Matt, being second in the league in passing yardage, fourth in touchdowns, and winning two playoff games is not enough for Matthew. <laughs> I guess so. So, I guess not. So, Matthew, that's a you problem. You deal with that. I'm cool. I'm cool. Um, WoodwardSports.com, chat thread, jump into there, get your thoughts. All right, the Angel Hernandez thing. The social team, get ready for this. I'm just telling you guys this right now. The fact that this guy continues to umpire baseball games in the major leagues, and, like, people just accept what we saw yesterday. Like, we're just like, you know what they are? Angel Hernandez is the drunk uncle at Thanksgiving where you know he's walking in, you know he's been drinking all day, and you're just like, well, that's Uncle Joe. That's just the way he is. How is this man allowed to continue to work in the major leagues? Look at these calls. DMAC, there was a stat last year. He missed 22% of strike calls. Jesus. 22% of oh strike God. calls. And they're just like, oh, well, that's Angel Hernandez. That's you know how it works. Every five. What is it with this guy? How's he here? <laughs> Why is he still an umpire? It's bad. What is it? How is he allowed to keep working? This is why they keep calling for robot umps, because mistakes like that, that's ridiculous. What are we doing with this guy? Hey, Neil, and we thought Diddy had all the tapes. <laughs> Angel Hernandez obviously got something on somebody. It's a try, and you know what the worst part is? They have on Twitter an, uh, a follow where they give grades to the umpires after every game. So it's not like it's not public knowledge of how bad this guy is. So I guess the question is, to Major League Baseball or the umpire committee or whoever hires, what is the criteria? Because holy cow. What are we doing with this guy? I don't know. I don't know. Can we somebody to, help we, me? We need to talk to a baseball guy about how it reads like a, a player. Like if this is the norm. Like if we were talking about a referee and you get the just of is this guy that bad and usually in hockey these guys don't get the ref playoff games. They get read it out and stuff like this. This is atrocious because this has gone on for not it's not just oh last year he missed twenty two percent or whatever like that. This is a constant and stuff that happens yesterday to it's a great guy of getting hit in the hand where he called it a strike that he swung and the bat never left. Like it wasn't even a check swing. Like it was it, 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 I don't know. I just what blows me away even more is the fact that they have replayed all these sports and they still can't get it right. That, and that's my point. When is someone gonna ask the question? Like one of these big time writers, Ken Rosenthal, so can somebody ask the question, how is this guy still employed? How is he an umpire in Major League Baseball? And you know what's funny? Even the Yankees guy will agree with me on that. Oh, That's yeah. a universal baseball thing. Get this guy out of here. I don't give a shit how long he's been an umpire for. I don't care about his tenure. Get him out of here. 
I mean, there's a giant, like, I just think about it as an athlete. There's, there, you know, the referees rap differently. Some call it tighter, some call it looser, but, you, but the thing you want is consistency. You don't need consistency that it is. No, no, DMAC. DMAC, I don't even need consistency. You know what I need? For you to not be wrong on 22% of your calls, and you're a major league umpire. Imagine how many games he's affected. Like, is this that's what I'm saying. That is crazy. Like, when, when are the sports books going to get involved? You know they don't want to get involved. <laughs> like, can we, can we please fix this? Please. By the way, if you look now, it's snowing in the D. Angel Hernandez did that. I did. Yeah. He made it snow here. <laughs> it's snowing here. That's what it's I'm saying. It's officially opening day now. It is a bit. It's got to snow at least once, right, on oh, opening yeah. day? It's got to snow at least once. Yep. But it is snowing pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Like, what happened to the sun? What happened to the sun? <laughs> Remember, like, an hour ago, it was cool, it everything was great? Yeah. It doesn't even hit anybody's vibe. Hey, you know what? Nobody even knows it's snowing out there. You know what? what? They're still 5-1. and one. They're still 5-1. and one. Damn They're right. still in first place. Damn Derek right. Google's still on the mound. That's not going to change, man. Mm -hmm. It's not going to change. That's it. Bring the snow. Oakland can't handle the snow, and they can't handle the fans. Because there's way too many people in the stands for them to play in front of. Shouldn't we be calling them the Sacramento A's now? You know what is funny? They're dropping the Oakland. They're just going to be the A's. <laughs> They're just going to be the A's. The United States A's. <laughs> so it's like the, the, the Washington football team, it's you, you, just the A's. You know what's funny here, too, is um, I want to pull this up because somebody sent this to me about the Oakland A's. So since moving to Oakland in 1968, the A's have the sixth best winning percentage of Major League Baseball. Since they moved to Oakland, sixth best. Yeah. Now tell me how it's a long time ago, but they're is. they're tied for the fourth most fourth most playoff burst. They've been to the playoffs 21 times. Yep. And the second most World Series titles with four. You're a story franchise. It's a damn shame what's happening in Oakland. The second most World Series franchise yes. has four. They've won four. And that's second. Yeah. That's tied for second. It's been a while, but they're a they are no, a successful but I'm just franchise. No, I, I'm, that blows me away that four is tied for second. Yes. Absolutely. Well, you know, it's a day of positivity because I would give you another stat that everyone here knows, but it's a day of positivity. We're not, we're not doing that. So, you know, we're, 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 we're certainly not going to do that. Uh, WilbertSports.com chat thread. Jump in okay. to their um, – where was it? Somebody asked a question about Torque, about Spencer Torkelson. And they said, Spencer Torkelson kind of needs to figure it out. And DMAC, you know, normally I would be on that, which normally I would, but they're five and one without him. So if at any time there's a pass for it, the pass is right now. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, right? It's And it's the same thing when we talk about hobby, why we can accept the fact of two RBIs. And these guys are winning, right? These guys are winning and doing what they can do as a team. And that's the luxury of being able to figure it out when your stars are rolling. But other guys have stepped up. You know, we, we, saw, we heard the Geo pop. You know, big, big hits yesterday. Cole Key stepping up, you know, for such a base hitter. Watch moment stuff. So I look for more of the same. I, you know, I think these guys, they and they believe in themselves. They play like they believe in themselves. Like they play like they deserve to be there. Well, I mean, and there's plus two. Just in baseball, there are guys that start slow. Torgelson seems to be fitting that mold. Now, granted, you know he's a thousand at bats in now in, into the major leagues. So, you know, it does get to a point where you are going to need him. And he had that hot, you know, what, two-month stretch last year. He had that, what, he hit, like 18 home runs or whatever in the span of two months. So so you know that you know that he has that in him. But at the same time, though, DMAC, and again, it's a day of positivity. I don't want to say, what's your concern level with sports Spencer Torkelson? Like, I'm not going that far with it yet. But I am mindful of it. I, I am mindful. I, I would like to see him get going. Yeah, I would. Yeah, no, we all would. Because then it just, but, and I think that he will. To me, I think it's just, you know, you got to gotta wait for three, three, four weeks consistency and stuff like that. So he's proven in the past that he could get going. So hopefully he gets going earlier than later. Because, because 
the reality is, if he doesn't, they won't be able to keep this pace. And and that's what it is. Like you, like you can say it and you can bring it up and say, well, why are you being negative? It's opening day. Like it's it's not that. It's we like this, right? Like this is fun. This is enjoyable. Being five and one, being in first place, all that stuff. Like this is fun. If you want that to continue. You will need Spencer Torkelson at some point. And not only that, t -Mac, you will need him to carry you you're, at points. You're, you're, you're going to need him to carry you. He's the guy right between him and Riley Green. Um, and the fact is, is that if they can, because the pitching is what's going to carry him, right? But you need that, the hitting. I, I really like the addition of Mark Canna, too. The way in the lineup, just that veteran presence and some of the at-bats that he's given, I think that, I think there's like, what I noticed in the first six games is there's sort of a, there's there's like a settling in the middle of the lineup. It's just not all like, oh man, we got through Riley Green and then there's nobody left or whatever like this, swing and miss and stuff like that. So I like the way that the lineup's been able to be versatile and they've put different guys in. I mean, look at Ibanya. It's when you needed him to come in and pinch in, play the role done what he's always done so uh, like how about this, this i like this team how about this dmac uh burn says when do we start rewriting bless you boys it's opening day and we're five and one it's time to get reckless well see you the know, people are picking I, it up I hey, if you would have come home six and oh you know what we would have been starting okay bless you boys this is the year okay we're switching that pump the brakes let's get through a month Ab absolutely Yes. That's on you. You got it, right, Chris? Yeah. yeah. All right. This is this is me right here. So we're talking about Soroki's chicken because yeah. Nashville hot chicken is back, baby. Featuring fresh, crispy Nashville hot chicken tenders, Nashville hot chicken sandwiches, loaded fries, their what newest up, Nashville hot up, pizza. Corey? They got everything. But the Hi, Corey. offer you must try. Visit Sorokis.com to place your order or stop at one of their 11 locations. Now, Neil, why don't you tell us about Chicken Shack? Chicken at Shake Shack, go ahead. Oh, hold on. We'll go to... Woodward Avenue, the first paved road in America. Woodward Sports, the first sports network born in Detroit and made for Detroit. Shake Shack. Oh, hey. Yeah, sorry. It's now time for Hermione and Edward What's that? Mash, live on the Woodward Sports Network. Every day, 2 to 4 p.m. Starring Ryan Hermione, Michigan great and former NFL baller Braylon Edwards, and of course, Tom Mazaway. Let's talk some sports. You, you smell that? That's Brad Holmes cooking. And the off-season smells good. Woodward Sports. First paved road in America. Woodward Sports. The first sports network born in Detroit and made for Detroit. Neil Rule here for Shake Shack. That's right. And I got the ace of the staff when it comes to chicken sandwiches. That's right. It's the Shake Shack Chicken Shack Sandwich. And you can get one for free. That's right. Use a promo code Woodward. So maybe you get the shake, maybe you get the crinkle fry, whatever you want to do. Use the promo code Woodward, and you will get a free chicken shack sandwich. They gave them to us to try. Guys, you know, man, I don't lie to you guys. It's elite. It's an elite chicken sandwich. So, hey, download the Shake Shack app or go to any one of the seven Metro Detroit locations. Use the promo code Woodward with a $10 purchase. You get a free chicken shack sandwich from Shake Shack. All right, keeping it pushing, everybody. Big D Energy, Woodward Sports Network. We are live in effect. 
And we're at the Grand Slam Fest 2024 at the Detroit Opera House parking lot. A heat of 10, 13 DJs. The biggest opening day bash in Detroit. Brought to you today by Glorious Cannabis and Sirocchi's Crispy Chicken and Pizza. Neil Rule, Darren McCarty. We got our guy Chris back in effect. We got KG That's in the better. house. We've got all of you in the WoolworthSports.com chat thread. You guys are hype up, in the chat thread right now. And... Um, you know what it is. There's there's a ton of positivity going on, and uh, people are fired up. Uh, Jeff M says if Tor can hit 265, it would be a good improvement. Because says two torque bombs today. I think that's aggressive because it just stopped snowing here, literally just now. It's aggressive. I, I got a vibe on a Jake Rogers bomb today. Okay. Yeah. This would fit the Jake Rogers. You know, one of those ones that just yeah. gets over the fence, into the wind. Whatever. They don't ask how. They ask how many, Neil. That is that is true. Uh, let's go Red Wings, Sparty. Add a boy, Spenmo. Spenmo's a hot topic of discussion in the chat. It's his day. It's his day. It, he is the Santa Claus of opening day. He's the Easter Bunny of opening Absolutely. day. They, the parade... They had like the opening ceremony parade. They should shuttle him in, and he should like hit the gong or whatever it is. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let's go, Red Wings party. At least we have an easy schedule to allow Torque to get in the groove. Uh, so, so there's that out there as well. Um, a shout out Rack too, who's in the house too with this Rack lovely Maddie. bride Maddie. Yeah. yeah, he sent a drink over to me. You know, so he knows. He, he yeah, knows I'm what's up. That. Not really. like, that shit. No, no doubt. No doubt. Um, Larry Roberts, Scooby will have at least a, a nine strikeouts today. He's going to hey, be electric. Did you say, I'm looking for good signs, did you say Terminal Dennis was in the building? My buddy Terminal Dennis you know, is Terminal in the building. Dennis, the Lions He's man. back in there somewhere. Shout out. Will, will Shout Terminal, out Terminal will Dennis. Will Terminal Dennis at any point shed a tear today for the Tigers? Or, or is his emotion just with the Lions? No, he, he loves the Tigers. Well, he get he, emotional too? Like he's, yeah, I mean, like he's over the top he's for the. He's terrible, irrational. He's just what? Addic addicted? He will, he will parachute in and out with the Tigers. Okay. He's kind of like you. Okay. With All the right. Tigers. But He'll, he doesn't let them hurt him. Like the, the Lions, Lions, he's. All in. Yeah. All that in. Is, so, yeah, he's he's out there as all right, well. All good. Terminal Dennis is here. That's a good sign. How about this? Uh, Mike, can we get a shout-out from the Youpers that are celebrating with you guys from afar? Shout-out to hey, the Youpers, out, man. Hey, Youpers, yeah, hey. uh, got a shout-out to the Detroit VA. They're watching over at the Detroit VA yeah, down shout here. Shout-out to, shout to the VA vets. Guys, I know I know that's your, that's your stuff that's right there. Yeah, Love the vets. Uh, no doubt. For sure. Um, <laughs> let's go Red Wings Sparty. Did Rack send you over the well bourbon? Don't let him fool you. No, he would never do that. He's too respectful for that. He's not Spencer, he for Christ's sake. No, no, that's Rake. He yeah. can't get near it. If he gets near that smell, he gets nauseous. <laughs> right? You don't want to. That's that Labonia palate in him. He doesn't want Westland palate over that, that area. He doesn't. He's too good for the well. He is too, he is too good for the well bourbon. Uh, for those, um that are interested in these types of things. The Detroit Tigers minus 250 today. Two and a half to one favorite, over under seven and a half. Yeah, it was Scoob's on the, Scoob's on the hill. He's on the bump. It's got a four and up the vibe to it. Like yes. To me, it's got a four and up the win vibe. Um, you know, it just, it sets up. It feels like a minus 250. I think the, book, the book's probably got it right, don't you? Like, it'd be, I'd be a little bit surprised with Terrence Scoobal on the mound, and I know, you know, it's, it's the A's. He just gave us all their great stats over the years, but it's opening day. We usually do great things on opening day. Speaking of opening day, William Rhodes says, I'm at work. Neil has me so jealous. I can feel how electric it is down there. I'll be in the D for the Red Wings game on Sunday. Pumped. LCA is going to be rocking. Uh, real quick tonight, DMAC, Red Wings and Rangers. I, it, w these games, DMAC, and the Red Wings are, it's all right there. It's basically a flat foot, five team tie, more or less, for two spots. That's what it is. It's Batman hockey. Last <laughs> two weeks of the year, five teams fight for two spots. The difference is, is you're one of those teams this year, right? 
this is the one and only year that you want to be in this spot. From now on, you want to be above this and you're doing what the Tampas are doing and taking care of your business at this time of year, but you're not there yet. So, the good thing is that everything's in front of you. You gotta go up against the perennial Stanley Cup team tonight. Um, but you know what? Like I'm always one is is the fact that there's a reason you gotta play the game, right? And I've been part of losing games you should have won and winning games you shouldn't have been in. So um, if they wanted. I know that. The, how about this? I call this the, the, this the daily double day, right? Whenever you can get two sporting events in. You don't think that crowd's gonna be primed tonight, right, in, in, in uh, LCA, so uh, it won't be the fact that the energy of the crowd won't be behind the guys, so it's gonna be a tough game. No doubt about that, and uh, just taking a look real quick at the playoff See, the big standing. Thing where you look at tonight, Neil, and as you break down, being one point behind, you know, out the other, you got, this is a game where you can handle getting one point. If you lose in overtime, you know what, that, or a shootout, you can handle that because you can still control your destiny with the same amount of games and the same amount of points with the Islanders. The bonus plan is go out and win this game. So. Uh, the Flyers right now have the third spot in the Metropolitan Division. They have 83 points. The Islanders have the second wild card with 83 points. The Capitals and the Red Wings are dead even right now, both with 82 points, both with 75 games played. The Penguins are back in the mix. They have 81 points. They played 76 games, though. But as we said, though, DMAC, it basically boils down like this. You're going for two spots, and there's five teams involved. It's what it is, right? You so hope, there's going to be wild swings. The, the team that came out of nowhere from the dead, so to speak, had all the pedigree in Pittsburgh. They're back into it. They know what they have to do. So, they, But every team's gone through. I think Philly, like I said, is the fall off. you got to control yourself, right? Um, and when you play these teams, it's the important period of four-point game. But you get to set yourself like that. These two games this weekend, Buffalo and the Rangers, you have to have three points. Yeah, minimal, and that's... Minimal. And, and how you get them, but you can, and you can't go out and get two against the Rangers and not get two against the Buffalo. But as a good friend of mine told me, the only way is through. The only way is through. Well, that's where we're at. We're at the through part of the program. That's it. This I mean, is so, it. so yeah, it's the Rangers tonight, but that's the way it is. And I will say this: I bet that there's a certain percentage of folks that are here that are going to find their way over to there tonight. Oh, yeah. what would you say? Twenty-five percent. Yeah, thirty-three percent. Yeah, I say one. I want one, one in four. One in four. How many? So, hold on. Yeah. How many had plans to do it, but came up short? Right? Like the idea, but but they get a little too opening day. Right? You're gonna lose a few soldiers that were planning well, on doing it. And and we'll and we'll remember them fondly. Yes. We will remember them fondly. Yeah, so, exactly. All gave some, but some gave all on That's opening it. day. And then, and then yeah. maybe you'll learn for next time. Right. But no, my it, favorite it, my favorite days are these. Although I like them better when it's playoff hockey and baseball, right? Because the weather's usually warmer. But, but I will say this, though. So here here's a strategy for those. Like, if opening day swallowed you up in the morning, which it, it's done it to everybody, opening day has a lot of victories under its belt. If it swallowed you up in the morning, find a way to get back into the car. You take a nap for about two hours, and then you make your way over to LCA. Refreshed and ready. You know what? If you got to do a Motrin, yeah, see, that guy knows. You got to do a Motrin or whatever you got to do. You got to get it together. They need you over there at LCA tonight. They there's need you a, over there. It's time. on you, everybody. I make this plea to the sports fans of Detroit. Even if opening day gets the better of you tonight, circle back to the car, get that nap in, and get over there and beat the Rangers tonight and get in the playoff spot. Do your part. That's all you can do. Hey, do oh, your part. Exactly. So we're looking for the daily double. <laughs> Absolutely. Tigers can lead it off, big win, lead it into it. Which leads to question, right? Games at one, they're quicker games, so 330. 
So that witching hour between like four and six, that's what you're talking about. Slide you, in. You do you whatever. You prepare for it. So everybody who's worried about having a, that one too many and getting over, no, you're going to have a nap in the car at four to six and rock and roll. It's Uncle different Dale's for everyone. For this isn't a one size fits all thing. No. This is where knowledge of yourself. And because Detroit is back, right? All you have sports, to be back. You have to be prepared because this isn't a one off. These are going to be the norms. Right? Whether it's the football, the baseball, the hockey. Let's go, people. We got to do our part. Get it together, everybody. Answer the bell. Answer the bell tonight. So, uh, dude, Nelly still slabs, bro. Hey, can we agree that Nelly still slabs? Song. We can, it's right? Still goes hard, right? Verified. Never, never not. Never not. Never, never, hey, thank Chris, thank you. It hey. never went away. We may have forgotten, but it was still there. We didn't forget. We I know we didn't forget. forget. I know we didn't forget. Uh, what do we got? Swi hey, we, we got, got Swiss. Swiss. Yeah, we're off the rail. Swiss insurance, right? Right? I got it right back. Here. Yeah, whatever, man. you good news and bad news all around. Let me tell you. Bad news is church rates. They're going up. The good news is with the church here to help right now. More than ever, it's critical to have your insurance with you. With the church, make sure your carry does not slip and that's the fees are raised deductible. Call Mark at Swiss Insurance today or visit SwissINS.com and tell them what we're supporting. We said so. Stop searching for a vehicle and start finding one. Les Stanford Chevrolet Cadillac makes it easy. We harness the power of multiple dealerships and own the biggest selection of GM brands in the area to get you the car you need. With the Les Stanford Group, you'll have access to four different dealerships, providing you with more makes, more models, and more choices. We're connected to more than 1,000 vehicles, and with so many high-quality CPO vehicles available, you'll find new car quality at pre-owned prices. You can start and end your search at lesstanford.com today. Congratulations to the real coach of the year, Motor City Dan Campbell. Just put your head down and go to work. It's about to be fun, man. It's about to be fun. Woodward Sports. At work and at home, we're there with smarter security solutions. Featuring complete automation with customized alerts and more. For over 90 years, we've been the company that's been counted on to protect what matters most, all with personalized service and care. Right now, for a limited time, receive a free video device plus free installation with a new home system. Guardian Alarm. We protect Michigan. Welcome back, everybody. We're live at the Grand Slam Opening Day Festival it's right next to the Detroit Opera House. Go to GrandSlamDetroit.com. They do these events year-round, as a matter of fact. But we are here. It is Detroit's biggest party. You guys know what it is. Heat of 10, 13 DJs. It's the biggest opening day bash in Detroit. Brought to you by the Grand Slam Opening Day Festival. And that's right. Back out of here. Big D Energy. You guys see Spenmo back there? Hey, you guys see Spencer Raxter? We're back at it, Big D Energy, Woodward Sports Network. Neil Rule, Darren McCarty's out with the people. We got Chris in the house. We got KG. We got Spen, look at Spencer Raxter right now. In his element, in his element. This is his bag. This is his bag, this is what he lives for. Oh, look at him. He is living his best life. D-Max over here living his best life. Everybody. Um, Matthew, Neil is hammered by the end of hour one. Needs a pinch hitter. Put Spenny in there. No, we're, we're okay, Matthew. We're, we're, definitely, we're definitely okay. We're just having a good time right now. Uh, yeah, Spencer's throwing stuff at us. Absolutely. It, it, that's the way that it works. Um, but yeah, dude, we're chopping it up right now. Hey, we're doing a special top five list. Yeah, I got it. Top five, hey, top five Detroit Tigers of all time in honor of opening day. I have I have Spencer Raxter's list. All right, let's you want do me to do Spencer's, do Spencer's first? Spencer's first. 
We'll do Spencer Raxter's list first. All right. Special top five edition. Opening day. Top five Detroit Tigers of all time. I'll get Spenny's first. You go second. I'll go third. Number five, Cleet Thomas. <laughs> Cleet <laughs> Thomas. The Auburn product. Uh, funny story. I don't know the reasons that he picked Cleet Thomas, but I'll give you a funny Cleet Thomas story. I sat next to Cleet Thomas, his dad, at a game one time. Yeah. I had a lot of drinks, so I don't remember what we talked about, but we talked for a long time. His dad's awesome. I rooted for Cleet Thomas. I respect Cleet Thomas, number five. Nice. You remember Cleet Thomas? Oh, yeah. Love that name. Ball player name. He's a ball player. Cleet. Absolute ball player. I looked up those career earnings, too. He made $2.2 million playing Major League Baseball. Oh, wow. Shout out, Cleet Thomas. Oh, yeah. Uh, number four, Curtis Granderson. Ooh, the grandy man. Curtis, Curtis Granderson. Hey, the grandy man can. Patrol at Can't Center argue. Field for years. I wish he could have left-handed pitching, but he was, he was great. What Curtis nice, Granderson was great. What, this, nice, nice guy. Always a nice guy. Always a guy that go out of his way to say hello. And yeah, he, he had that uh, Mr. Tiger kind of vibes to him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, number three, Miguel Cabrera. Yeah, that's a gimme. I'll give, when I get to my list, I'll, I'll make my case about Miguel Cabrera. Number two, Justin Verlander. Now, he is not on my list. Really? He is not on my list. Wow. Is there a Sorry, reason for that? Sorry, he's not. He tapped out. He tapped out on Detroit. He tapped out to the point where he's probably going to go in the Hall of Fame as an Astro. That's not his fault. Hey, I said it was a day of positivity. I did say it was going to be a day without controversy. He is not on my top five list. Sorry. But it's Smenny's list, so number two. Absolutely. His, his um, rules his, are different. He judges different. Bingo. It's up to you. He puts more points in different categories. Right. That's it's up to it's you. Not your list. He's not on my list, and it's my list. Uh, number one, Spencer Raxter, top five Detroit Tigers of all time. Donnie Kelly, baby. Donnie Don Kelly. Kelly at number yeah. one. Hey, you can't. It's a little aggressive, but you can't hate it. Don Kelly Leland. You, you were a big Don Kelly guy, but I, I like the utility guy. I grew up with Tom Brooks. So you can relate. I can relate. Yeah. yeah, utility guy, whatever it takes. And that was Spencer right. Rackers, top five Tigers of all time. We give the floor to Mr. Darren McCarty. Your now, top you have, five Tigers you of have all to time. Understand that I look at my baseball through the lens of a catcher, right? So just for being a catcher and stuff. My number five. Pudge Rodriguez. Pudge Rodriguez, Can't number five. Pudge, hey, what he brought, culture here. He's the one that turned it all around. He's 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 the catalyst. The, yep. the locker room and stuff like that. Just make, make it that way. I was a huge Pudge fan before, and to get him, he's number five. Number four, Chester Lemon. Chester Lemon. Greatest catches over the shoulder. We He'd hold the bat. We were a kid. I, I, I don't understand how he held the bat in front of Such his face. Such an integral, I think, underrated part of that 84 Tigers team. He was just Mr. Hustle, like, every day. A ball player. Love Chet Levin. Uh, number three, great, greatest batting stance ever, Mickey Tettleton. I uh, love Mickey Tattleton hitting bombs from the left side. Yeah. Uh, that's when I was a catcher, too, and uh, just love, love the stoicism of it. Um, probably my second favorite catcher of all time. Uh, number two, and this has bias, too, because he, he's, he's still a good buddy, and I love the guy, but when he was here, when he was good, he was great. Bobby Higginson, just, just, uh, you know, the outfield assist accuracy and, the, you know, weary bad in the order. And I, I know all the arguments. He can bat in front of Juan Gonzalez and stuff like that. But the fact that he did it, he was your boy. And you got to cheer him. Right. For those few seasons to, to be hang out with those guys and to be a part of it. It was something special. Number one, who's no, this is no, uh, anybody who knows me knows that my end-all, be-all favorite athlete of all time. 
Um, it's Lance Parrish. I even painted my gloves orange as Lance Parrish. My age four Tigers, 12 years old wheelhouse. Lance Parrish is the end all be all. And, you know, so my Lance Parrish personalized autograph baseball that he signed to me probably 10 years ago is one of the prized possessions that I have in my collection. And that is Darren McCarty's top five list nice. of all time. So laying it out there. And, and certainly, certainly can't hate on it. No doubt about Personal it. Personal preference, <laughs> right? Absolutely. I didn't send one in, but I do have a top five list. You do have one, KG. Yeah, I can run them down. I can barely hear y'all, but I can definitely run down the names Thank real quick. you. Oh, uh, hold on. Bobby Higginson hey. is getting some love on there as well. He should. That's my number two. All right. All right, so my top five lists. Hold on, let me switch this camera. All right, top five lists. Coming in at number five, Tory Hunter. Uh, Tory Hunter? Tory. I got thrown the ball by Tory Hunter. You you do not disrespect uh, that man. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Fair. It's your it's Fair. your top five list. Thank you. See, I can, I can check myself. You can. Yeah, then Sometimes. that's fair. That's fair. All right. And you got a ball from him, so you know that supersedes everything. Right. Hey, if you didn't like Tory Hunter, you might not like this next one. But at number four, I got Jose Valverde. One of my oh, Papa Grande. <laughs> he, make no mistake, I am a Papa Grande Thank ally. You. For all the ish that that man took, he he had every save one year. He was perfect. He was a perfect closer one year. So you you, I will never. I will never push back up. Papa Grande was underrated here. He was. Underrated. He was. Make no mistake. Thank you. All right, so at number three, we have Lou Whitaker, the legend. Why is this man not in the Hall of Fame to this day? I still don't understand. But Lou Whitaker, one of my favorite Tigers ever. The gray one, too. Oh, that's, yeah. That's, that's blasphemy like Chris Austin. Yeah, respect. Number two, JV. A man that is not on your list, which I, I'm, I'm waiting to hear the explanation for that one. But, well, we know, but still. Number one, Miguel Cabrera. Can't go wrong with Miguel Cabrera. So that's my top five. KG, I respect it. I disagree with some of it. I re And look, Brandon Katz is taking your side here. Neil just completely cooked himself. He says Verlander is in a top five Tiger because he quit on Detroit. No, he said top five favorite of his list. Yeah. Well, Jerk off. You're lucky said, I don't have the computer today. He's, I boot your ass so fast on Spencer's OB day, and you're going to act like a jackalope, like you do 364 days a year. Take a fucking day off, Tad. Seriously. Uh, he goes it's, on to and say. it's fucking his list, and Neil doesn't like traitors. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he goes on to say Barry Sanders quit on the Lions and Neil thinks he's the best Lion of all time. Uh, Barry did not quit. He retired. He didn't ask to be traded. He never came back and played again. Yeah. Barry was done playing football, bro. He was done. And guess what, Catsbot? He doesn't owe that explanation to you, to me, or anyone. He filed his paperwork. He retired. So just stop with all that. All right, here we go. My top five. Tigers list. Number five, Lance Parrish. Lance Parrish, from the way he dug into the batter's box. Make sure you say it properly. Your top five favorite. Detroit Tigers. Tigers. Not your top five. You're not, this oh, no, these are the top five Tigers. I'll make well, the case. because it's your list, it is the top <laughs> five. You know I'm going to make the but case. just so everybody, because you know yeah. I'd hate for anybody to fucking take it wrong. No, 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 I got it. Uh, Lance Parrish, from the way he dug in to hit, to the catcher's mitt with the orange pad on the end of it. That was elite. Greatest catcher's mitt in the history of baseball. Number four, Lou Whitaker. Put this man in the Hall of Fame now. Take a look around at the second baseman in the Hall of Fame. Now look at Lou Whitaker. They're all the same. Put Lou Whitaker in the Hall of Fame now. Now. What are we doing? Lou Whitaker's not in the Hall of Fame. Him for power. Did it all. Oh, by the way, was one half of the greatest double play combination in the history of baseball. No! I know he didn't do a cool backflip or whatever. I don't care. You know what he did do? Hit the ball over the fence. Played a great second base. Put him in the Hall of Fame. No! Number three, Maglio Ordonez. 
Maglio Ordonez delivered by every metric. Was a great hitter. Was great like that guy Spencer Raxter. Had great hair. Won a batting title. He was the catalyst behind the resurgence. Spencer Raxter is still hanging on. You see Spencer Raxter. He's the Maglio Ordonez of this network. Number two, George Kell. Now here's where I'm gonna tell you guys this. And Detroit Tigers, I know you're getting ready for a game. Retire this man's number. Retire his number. A Hall of Fame player. Beat Ted Williams for a batting title. Oh, by the way, is in the Baseball Hall of Fame. How's his number not retired here? How? How have the Tigers not retired George Keldon? He's in the Hall of Fame. He won batting titles. He's done it all. And lastly, 25 years of service to the organization as a broadcaster well, as well. When you say George Kell, do you not be more as a broadcaster? You didn't see him play. But he I is mean, a tiger. Stats do whatever you said that. But as what he brought to you as not only a player, but as representative of the team and how he broadcasts right over the years without Kalar and stuff, that was our childhood. That that goes through. That's why George Kell's not being you know, George Kell's number not being retired is on par with Sergey Fedorov's number not being retired. It, it, there is no debate. There's no drama to it. Retire George Kell's number today. I say, today. Is there less drama than George Kell? Maybe. Right? There's like less drama. There's, Maybe. You know what I'm saying? Behind Twenty-five it. years of service to the organization as a great play-by-play -play announcer as well. I'll die on that hill. Like, that is a hill I will die on. Retire George Kell's number. Uh, and number one, Miguel Cabrera. He's the greatest Tiger in the history of a franchise that's been around for over 100 years. There's no discussion. There's no debate. Any metric you want, Miguel Cabrera is the greatest Tiger of all time. Yeah. <laughs> And the, the Tarek Scubo jersey has been delivered for DMAC to put on there. Yes. Th there he is, everybody. The Tarek Scubo jersey is being there adorned by Darren McCarty. There we go. There it is. Over under, I think, when nine and a half strikeouts. That's that's what the people are calling for right now. We're taking the over. It's uh, opening day. You you told us, Neil, be irresponsible. Today, we're being irresponsible. We're smashing the over. Always. The over on yeah. spend more beers, the over on, on strikeouts, everything. No over. unders today. No, no unders. unders on opening day. No Tigers unders. over win total. <laughs> Tarek Scoobal yeah. over strikeouts. Spencer Raxter over in beers, over in shots. And that parlay's only plus 280. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. It's not, it's it's not, not even going to get you great money. But there you go. I love it. Uh, Kyle Stark, Miguel Cabrera two, Ty Cobb one. No, Miguel Cabrera one. What break? What break are we on? I don't know. We are we are on QB Shack Challenge because it is always football season. All right. So let me let me tell you about the QB Challenge here. Shake Shack and Woolworth Sports wants to remind you it is always football. It is always football season. I would you like to win two free tickets to the opener. You can do that with the Shake Shack QB Challenge. If you can throw on the rope. You can, you can be at the home opener. Register today for your chance to win at any Shake Shack location at WoolworthSports.com or scan the QR code right above my head. It's Shake Shack. Get yourself involved in the game. The only sports network in Detroit that starts with a W. You know, because we win. Woodward Sports. Detroit's winning sports network. Where's the most convenient place to get that big fitness energy? It's Planet Fitness. Join today for just $1 down, $10 a month. With over 2,400 locations and equipment for every workout, you can get in, get energized, and get going. And with free fitness training and most clubs open 24 hours, everyone belongs in the judgment-free zone. So join today for $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment, cancel any time. 
Every year, after a cold and dreary winter, Metro Detroiters come together for two things. Tigers baseball and the best damned party in the world. A new season of Tigers baseball is here. And we're bringing in the new season as only Woodward Sports knows how. Broadcasting live from the biggest party. It's the Grand Slam Festival at the Detroit Opera House. Come party with 4,000 Detroit sports fans. Starting with Wake Up Woodward and rolling into Big D Energy. This is a party you don't want to miss. With Detroit's best DJs, food trucks, and of course, shots. Shots, 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 shots. Get your tickets now at GrandSlamFest.com. 21 plus. See you April 5th at the Grand Slam Fest. Is that an octopus in your pants, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> you should see what I did there. Go Red Wings! From Octopi Experts, Woodward Sports. Come to any Lady Jane's Haircuts for Men and claim your throne for a king's treatment from one of our talented stylists. Open seven days a week, walk in anytime. Just get to a Lady Jane's today and receive a precision haircut, scalp massage, hot lather neck shave, and a hot towel treatment. A haircut should not be a chore, it should be an experience. And that's exactly what Lady Jane's has to offer. Open seven days a week, walk-ins are always welcome. There's always a location near you. Lady Jane's Haircuts for Men, it's wicked awesome. We don't like to brag that we are the toughest sports network in Detroit. But we do have a guy named Darren McCarty on our side. Lemieux and McCarty, we've had a good knockdown drag up. There they go, right on the wall. Oh, baby. They're talking to one another. Woodward Sports. in Detroit sports coverage. Every year, after a cold and dreary winter, Metro Detroiters come together for two things. Tigers baseball and the best damned party in the world. A new season of Tigers baseball is here. And we're bringing in the new season as only Woodward Sports knows how. Broadcasting live from the biggest party. It's the Grand Slam Festival at the Detroit Opera House. Come party with 4,000 Detroit sports fans. Starting with Wake Up Woodward and rolling into Big D Energy. This is a party you don't want to miss. With Detroit's best DJs, food trucks, and of course, shots. Shots. Get your tickets now at GrandSlamFest.com. 21 plus. See you April 5th at the Grand Slam Fest. there with smarter security solutions featuring complete automation with customized alerts and more for over 90 years we've been the company that's been counted on to protect what matters most all with personalized service and care right now for a limited time receive a free video device plus free installation with a new home system guardian alarm we protect michigan The first pick in the 2024 media draft, Detroit selects Woodward Sports. Thank you for making us the number one digital network in Detroit. Where's the most convenient place to get that big fitness energy? It's Planet Fitness. Join today for just $1 down, $10 a month. With over 2,400 locations and equipment for every workout, you can get in, get energized, and get going. And with free fitness training and most clubs open 24 hours, everyone belongs in the judgment-free zone. So join today for $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment, cancel any time. Get a shot up. This is for the win. <laughs> All of Detroit sports teams live on Woodward. All of Detroit sports coverage lives on Woodward Sports. Driving the best in Detroit sports coverage. Every year, 
after a cold and dreary winter, Metro Detroiters come together for two things. Tigers baseball and the best damned party in the world. A new season of Tigers baseball is here, and we're bringing in the new season as only Woodward Sports knows how. Broadcasting live from the biggest party, it's the Grand Slam Festival at the Detroit Opera House. Come party with 4,000 Detroit sports fans, starting with Wake Up Woodward and rolling into Big D Energy. This is a party you don't want to miss. With Detroit's best DJs, food trucks, and of course, shots. Shots, 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 shots. Get your tickets now at GrandSlamFest.com. 21 plus. See you April 5th at the Grand Slam Fest. Stop searching for a vehicle and start finding one. Les Stanford Chevrolet Cadillac makes it easy. We harness the power of multiple dealerships and own the biggest selection of GM brands in the area to get you the car you need. With the Les Stanford Group, you'll have access to four different dealerships, providing you with more makes, more models, and more choices. We're connected to more than 1,000 vehicles, and with so many high-quality CPO vehicles available, you'll find new car quality at pre-owned prices. You can start and end your search at lesstanford.com today. New role here for Feldman Automotive Group since 1996. Feldman Automotive has handcrafted the perfect car buying experience. It's called the Feldman Advantage. And guess what? There's a Feldman Automotive dealership near you. There's 18 locations. Go to FeldmanAuto.com and find the one that works best for you. And don't forget, Feldman Chevrolet in Nova. They are Michigan's number one Chevrolet dealer. It's FeldmanAuto.com. Keeping a push in here, Big D Energy, Woodward Sports Network, live from Grand Slam Fest 2024. We're at the Detroit Opera House parking lot. A heated tent, 13 DJs, the biggest opening day bash in Detroit. Today's broadcast brought to you by Glorious Cannabis and Sorokis, crispy chicken and pizza as well. And uh, had to go to the bathroom. Sorry about that. I'm a human being. And uh, it's on and popping down here. So, so it took a minute, Chris. I'm sorry. I was taught never rush perfection, so you know that's just how I was raised. Maybe I was raised different. It's it's the way we're doing it. Um, WoodwardSports.com chat thread. Jump into there. Get your thoughts out there. Uh, Jake wants to know: Are you more excited for the new Lions jerseys or the Tiger City Connect jerseys? I'm a, I'm a little excited for the Lions jersey because not gonna lie, there's, so a, there's a lot at stake because this is the season. You know, this is this is the season for the for Detroit Lions fans. So well, plus you gotta, two, you gotta like, dress good to play good. You know, I'm I'm worried. Plus two, like the whole fanatics debacle and everything like that as well. But D Max D Max got the fanatics jersey on. <laughs> oh yeah, Scoob, let's go. I'm ready to go. Got the jersey on. <laughs> Get warmed up. Thanks, Rick, for the gloves. We're ready to go down here. Uh, real cream of wheat. Neil is a lightweight. I'm sorry, I had to pee, dude. I'm sorry. I'm a human being. You know, I'm a human being, Neil, everybody. Neil, Neil, I'll, I'll, I'll shoot you some bail. It's cold out, too. It the is cold, cold out. The it makes it process faster, you know, no doubt. Yeah, yeah cool. That was the longest break in the history of Woodward Sports, by the way. <laughs> the longest commercial break. Ever. That's that what is, we do. We break that records. That is true. Love it. That's what we do. You're a pro, Sus. You're, you're, you're a pro. That's why you're big, Sus, not little Sus. Thomas Perry in the WoolworthSports.com chat thread. Happy opening day. Uh, Woolworth Sports Network crew and chatters. You guys are killing it down there. Wish I could be there uh, to buy shots, gummies for DMAC. Go Tigers and let's go Red Wings. So, yes, it is out there. It's a huge day today. I did, um, I did want to talk about the top five list, though, because I felt like I need to explain my Justin Verlander thing. I felt like I need to explain that a okay. little bit. And here's the why, and it's my why. Yeah, no, this I, is my I understand, why. and I think a lot of people have your similar why. Yes, here's my why. Because he tapped out. In much the same way I talk about Grant Hill. Grant Hill tapped out of Detroit. He tapped out of Detroit. Justin Verlander tapped out of Detroit. And KG, you can shake your head all you want, bro. I will die on this hill. Guess what? When he goes into the Hall of Fame, He's going in as an Astro. So you know what? Cool, bro. Hey, so that's what it is, man. Maybe. So he was fine when he was here. He was a good player when he was here, but he tapped out, man. Maybe that's a new topic for down the road. 
Because that, you brought up a great, that's your sport, non-negotiable. We all have non-negotiables. For your athletes, your hometown athletes, if you tap out, you're automatically, boom, lack of better term, guillotine, you're not on the list anymore. You don't even, you don't, not, forget about getting into the club, you're not even in the world. You're not, that, that's your non-negotiable when it comes to your athletes, their loyalty and stuff. Other people don't have that, but, if, but everybody, if they think about it, has a sports non-negotiable when it comes to their favorite athletes and why they love them or what they do or whatever else. So it makes total sense to me. I Again, if I go back to giving points, more points in different categories, right? I'm between you and Kenny when it comes to that. Where, where does that rank? Between saying, okay, I'm, it doesn't really matter to saying, okay, it had, means something to you being no. That's, that's non-negotiable. And, uh, right, and, and the people are talking about it too. Tiger Town says he went to a place where he could win the World Series. Yeah, well, he had two cracks here, and he didn't get it done. He didn't get it done. And then uh, I'll die on that no, hill, d -Mac. Not, and, and here's the thing people don't, like, why is society always about, oh, you have to agree, or you have to say, why can't you say, no, JB decided, fuck, I couldn't get it done here, I'm not going to get it done here, I want to go win there. That's his priority, which you respect, but yes. in the same category that he's got to respect the fact that he is eliminated from your list because he did that. He makes choices. There's kind of, right? Nobody begrudges anybody for going and chasing the championship. It's the fact that he didn't stay here. It's a, re it's a respect to your hometown athlete and love thing. Yeah. And, and I don't begrudge him for going. And and the fact is, you you better go retire in the Hall of Fame as an Astro because you are an Astro. You're not a Tiger. Right. So I I, I get it. And, I, and I'm not going to hate on it. You know, that's what you did. Okay, no. cool. But no. I don't have to like it either. You know, I, I don't have to like it. Um, Mike G says, Chelios going into the Hall of Fame as a Blackhawk. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I, I'd say, yeah, the way it is now, but what did he... he yeah, I, I don't I don't have a problem with that. No. Like, Chelios is what he was here. It's his choice. He's back there now. Right, like, right you know what I'm... Yeah, and, 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 that's, and that's really it. Like, the... Like, and people are going to come at me about the Sergey thing. All right? I know they will. I'll cut it off right there. Sergey brought it up. Sergey was in the mud with you. Like when when when, yeah, when I told you it. and I was like you guys I don't I didn't believe you guys were going to get it done. Sergey was the most valuable part of that. Some would argue. Some would argue. I would argue. Now with that being said, and yeah, he kind of he played the business card and got the money for Millage. You know when he signed that deal with Carolina that offers you with Carolina. I guaranteed he wanted to be here. Guaranteed. But he knew the lay of the land, and they had to match the offer. That was, I respect that even more, d you love that even more about him because he's a bag man himself. Bag men love bag men. But he played the game. What did he do? He just played the game. For, that's all it is, free agency and stuff like negotiations. I mean, yes, it didn't leave a sour taste in Mr. Lewis's mouth. I would think so, but I have to pay that much money. But the fact, if you don't resign sir, you better up their contract, you don't win back to back in 90. You don't win in 98. You were there. <laughs> and then we win in 02. Hey, D-Mac, so what I, do you I, want? I trust your opinion on this. <laughs> uh, I trust thanks, your opinion. Yes, buddy. Uh, Wolversports.com chat thread. Uh, Sam R. says, Verlander retiring as an Astro is going to break my heart. And I'll be pissed too. Because he tapped out, KG. I'm sorry, dude. He tapped out. Chris, he tapped out. He, he, he tapped out. He did the Grand Hill play. Oh, we can't win here. Yeah. So I'm leaving. Exactly, exactly, and you know what? That's that's the ugly that's the ugly truth of it. Is that you have you have to embrace that truth. You just you you you, you come to a point where you can't you can't hide behind you can't hide behind these these stories and these narratives. 
sometimes facts are facts, and that's what it is, and it, it breaks my heart, because I love Verlander. I love what he gave to this city, but you know what? At the end of the day, retiring as an Astro, that speaks volumes to where, where the situation's at. You gotta look yourself in the mirror. Sometimes you get broken up with, and you don't always do the breaking up. Sometimes you get broken up with, and you have to deal with it. Right. Uh, Matthew says, some they send off with respect and say, pay the man, but others get nothing but hate when they leave Detroit in the D. Here's a difference, Matthew, because some won it all, and some did not. And Justin Verlander is one that did not. Sorry. Like, he did. He did not, man. Like, that's, that's it. And remember Panda? Dot, dot, dot. Remember that? So, you know, that's what it is for me. That's for me. Now, if, if you say, hey, he's my favorite Tiger of all time, I can't hate you on that. I can't. But for me, that's where I stand. What what break? I know we're, we jacked the brakes all up. Yeah. What, where are we on? What are we on right now? We're... We are, we are on Premier Pet, so let me let me tell you about the best place to get Premier Pet and take care of your pet. I got a pet myself. You hear about it all the time on the heavyweights. My young Kobe. Get your pet the best. Premier Pet Supplies, hands down, Michigan's pet vet store. They have the same prices, all conveniences, the online and big box retailers. One major difference, though, they are family and locally owned and operated for over 30 years. They got over 60 brands of food with nutrition experts to help you. Same day local curbside and home delivery. Premier Pet Supply, give your pet the best. Visit www.premierpetsupply.com and get your, get your pet taken care of. We don't like to brag that we are the toughest sports network in Detroit. But we do have a guy named Darren McCarty on our side. Look at Ewan McCarty, who's had a good knockdown drag up. There they go, right on the whistle. They were talking to one another. Woodward Sports. to any Lady Jane's haircuts for men and claim your throne for a king's treatment from one of our talented stylists. Open seven days a week, walk in anytime. Just get to a Lady Jane's today and receive a precision haircut, scalp massage, hot lather neck shave, and a hot towel treatment. A haircut should not be a chore, it should be an experience. And that's exactly what Lady Jane's has to offer. Open seven days a week, walk-ins are always welcome. There's always a location near you. Lady Jane's haircuts for men, it's wicked awesome. You, you smell that? That's Brad Holmes cooking. And the off-season smells good. Woodward Sports. Where's the most convenient place to get that big fitness energy? It's Planet Fitness. Join today for just $1 down, $10 a month. With over 2,400 locations and equipment for every workout, you can get in, get energized, and get going. And with free fitness training and most clubs open 24 hours, everyone belongs in the judgment-free zone. So join today for $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment, cancel any time. Every year, after a cold and dreary winter, Metro Detroiters come together for two things. Tigers baseball and the best damn We're good. The new season of Tigers baseball is here, and we're bringing in the new season as only Woodward Sports knows how. Broadcasting live from the biggest party, it's the Grand Slam Festival at the Detroit Opera House. Come party with 4,000 Detroit sports fans, starting with Wake Up Woodward and rolling into Big D Energy. This is a party you don't want to miss with Detroit's best DJs, food trucks, and of course, shots. Get your tickets now at GrandSlamFest.com. 21 plus. See you April 5th at the Grand Slam Fest. What happens when you run a great business for over 50, yes, 50 years? You expand it off of more products for people. This is exactly what Les Stanford did by the Les Stanford Buick GM. See the same great service and customers you're cooking to know. And trust on Woodward Ave just south of Nine Mile. Check out Les Stanford and Dearborn today. LesStanford.com. Les Stanford Chevrolet. Together, let's drive. 
Keeping it pushing, everybody. We're back. Big D Energy, Woodward Sports Network, broadcasting live from Grand Slam Fest 2024. We're in the Detroit Opera House parking lot, heated tent. The DJs are mixing and scratching. D-Max feeling it. We're all feeling it. It's the biggest opening day bash in Detroit. Today's broadcast brought to you by Glorious Cannabis and Soroki's Crispy Chicken and Pizza. Uh, WoodwardSports.com chat thread. Jack Harrington says, I respect Verlander as a Yankees fan. You have to, Jack, because he kicked your ass. <laughs> he kicked your Yankees ass, dude. He did. All the time. Those hey, are facts. What is this? Was that a question? <laughs> Ah, whatever, man. It's opening day. Yeah, it's opening day. <laughs> I'm too busy watching Spanny. Yeah, Where is Spanny? There's a party going on out there. We are so oh. getting demonetized. People rapping, big rhymes. Hey! Sitting clubbing. We're trying to do the Spetty Cam. What's up, brother? <laughs> hey, buddy, no, but it is, uh, as you can tell, uh, it, it's a party in here. Flat it out, a it's a party. Uh, Tigers A is coming up in just a little bit. Tigers a minus 250 favorite. The over under seven and a half. They're five and one. Uh, real cream of wheat. I miss JV for sure. Uh, the roar of 24. Um, the roar of 24. We can tell who is a Tiger fan between D-Mac and Neil. Neil is barely wearing anything Tigers. You got a hat on. Neil's more of a prove it guy. He's got the hat on. He's got the colors. He's even got the shoe colors. Shoes are fly. He's got orange mix on today. So. There they are. So he's, he's representing the colors. And by the way, I am the biggest Tigers fan at this network. At this network. At this network, nobody puts more time into this team than I do. I invest my own time into it. Not even work Not time. Even get paid. I don't even get paid to Free do it. Time. Like that goes to show you, nobody here puts more time into this team than I do. Yeah. That's it. I got the new era Tigers hat on. <laughs> I'm serious about this. Are you ready to admit you was wrong about the third base production yet? It's been timely. It's been timely. It has. I'm skeptical over the course of a season. Yeah. I just, I wanted the Geo move to get acknowledged more because I don't feel like enough emphasis is put on the Geo move. Uh, to be fair though, KG, when He's, they, when they, defense has been great. When they signed Geo, I said, that's, that's a good price. That's, that is like as a bag man. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. What's he, a million five or something like that? Exactly. He's way above a million five. But you were upset because you wanted them to go get like a Matt Chapman, you know? No, no. I'm see, not, I know you're not stop married putting to that day. on me. I know you're not married stop to Stop putting day. that on me. I never said Matt Chapman, unquote. I never said that. The philosophy is what I have a problem with. I feel you. But and I would have took at-bats away from the younger guys. But KG... If we don't win this division by two or three games and we got the 28th ranked offense in the league, I'm going to be pissed. And you'll have a right I'm going to be real pissed. You'll have a right to. And that's fair. It is fair. That's fair. Nothing you said has been unfair, but I just wanted you to try to support what's going on right now. That's it. I'm here. I'm here. No, and you I? are. You like, are. I'm in it. Hey, listen. I got my beer in a koozie. You damn like, right. That's how you know it's official. It's open a day. We can come together, man. And go Tigers, man. They go, they go kick the A's ass, the Sacramento A's. I'm in. The soon to be no longer Oakland A's, just the A's. Uh, that's what they're going to be <laughs> going forward. All right, D-Mac, I have a question for you. Thanksgiving Day or opening day? Say what? Thanksgiving Day or opening day in Detroit? Which one's better? Oh, that's easy. Oh, I think opening day. I think, I think uh, it's, it's different. It's one of your priorities, right? I like watching all the football on TV and enjoying a day of food sort of in and out of a coma. That's Thanksgiving. I don't not like go down to the game and 
big tailgate that way. This is sort of the tailgate. You always hope a winning game at the same night for the daily double. So to me, it's this time of year. Right, and that's. I would say. What do you got? Can I answer here? Because you know what? It's Thanksgiving Day. I love opening day. It's been an awesome element, but it's Thanksgiving Day because you know what? By this time, we are over the cold. We are over the cold. We don't want to deal with snow. We don't want to see that. Thanksgiving, we expect snow. We expect cold weather. But this time, I'm over it. I'm, all, I'm over the cold. Give me Thanksgiving Day. Great food. That's the move. Well, I mean, right. I, as I always say, I'll take it a step further. Thanksgiving is the best holiday, period. It's all the vibe of Christmas. It's all the food of Christmas. It's none of the responsibility Better of buying food. gifts and shit like that. It's literally you just show up, you watch football, and you eat. And that's it. Like, Thanksgiving is perfect for me. I, I get all the rewards. I get none of the effort. I'm a bag man, D-Mac. What's in it for me? Right. No, I get it. Uh, I, you know, but but I get also, too, the people that use Thanksgiving down here as, as a tradition. You know, the family, that's sort of, they use it. The Lions game to bring the family together and do their tailgate, you know. It, I get it whichever way you do it. I think it's just what you grow up experiencing. I experience way more opening days. I'm trying to think. By 52 years old, I've probably been to at least 20 opening days. Yeah, and, and I have too. I think I've only missed, man, since, the, since I was a kid, I've probably missed about two or three opening days. Like downtown live? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, like... Yeah, I, the, the crew, like Terminal Dennis and the crew that's down here right yeah. now acting the fool over there. Yeah. Like, we would come down. we get down here like 7 a.m. We do the keg and eggs. We brought a full keg. We had the grill, the griddle. We made eggs. Like, oh, we went all the way in. All the way in. But um, the Aurora 24 Thanksgiving Day is more than a holiday in Michigan. A uh, real cream of wheat. I love Halloween because we get to act like kids. Um, it's just... For me, like, the, the the Thanksgiving Day, here here's why I lean opening day. Like, with, with you, here's why I lean opening day. So, like, Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> Classic. What you know about that, Neil? They Ask don't know about Whitney Houston. Houston. <laughs> People forget about Whitney Houston. Oh, yeah. They forget about Whitney one of the greatest ever, man. One of the greatest voices I've ever heard. People, Whitney Houston still bangs. I don't... Hey. Yeah. Hey. Well, hey. All right, but anyway, getting back to it. Opening day is greater than because Thanksgiving Day, like even when you go to the game, it's like a pressure cooker. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you come down to the game, either you tailgate, you go to the bars, whatever you do. You know you got to get back as soon as the game's over. You got to get in there, get to the dinner and stuff like that. Opening day is a write-off. Like, you, you call into work. You know how it's going to end every single time. But at the same time, like, there's there's just no responsibility with opening day. And it's usually on a Friday, right? It is has it, been lately, yeah. Has it been lately? So yeah. that's even, like, weekend early. And I, I think that even... Like on a bigger scale for the city, this is sort of like the pre-trial run, but like a test run for the draft. Right. But you know what I'm saying? It's just the flow of driving. You see it the way it is, but I just think it's a vibe, right? It's a city vibe. It's almost like if, if you were going to say a day to just celebrate Detroit by the Detroit people, and I mean by Michigan people or everybody in the city, it's today. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Spencer Raxter hey, uh, back here Rack's in the fold as well. It is what it is, baby. <laughs> Where you at? You got an update? I've had a couple nice asses. Pumps their eyes. It's been a good time. Three for three on the air. We're three for three on the air. Three for three, baby. Three for three. Three for three, getting up shots. Exactly. Yeah, right. Hey, Spenny, don't forget, Woodward Heavyweights, two to four. Yeah. Shout out. We had to bump Spencer up. Hey, Ryan, hey, Braylon, we got some We're here, Woodward Heavyweights, two to four. 
There he is, Spencer Raxer, everybody. Shout out. Hey, Spenny, Spenny. Shout out, heavyweights. Hey, what do I got to do? Planet Fitness, right? Yep. Planet Fitness? Hey, we're not at the Planet Fitness Studios. Hey, no we're downtown, but it's still kind of the Planet here. Fitness Studios. And hey, I'm not going to lie. I didn't get to Planet Fitness in today. I'm not going to lie to you. But it's opening day, and you know what? I don't feel bad about it because it's a dollar down and 10 bucks a month. You got so an excuse. Absolutely. Black card, dollar down, $24.99 a month. I can take a day off. I'm entitled to that. I get to work in. You go anytime you want. Anytime I want because it... It's Planet Fitness, everybody. There's over 2,500 of them in the world. With a black card, you can go to any one of them as well. All the cardio equipment, all the weight equipment, everything you need is right there for you at Planet Fitness. Pull in the parking lot. There's over 50 in Metro Detroit. You can join there or go online. Go to planetfitness.com. It's Planet Fitness, Mr. Darren McCarty. Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness is essential. Thank you to all the fans for making Woodward Sports your number one online destination for Detroit sports. We promise not to drop the ball. Come to any Lady Jane's haircuts for men and claim your throne for a king's treatment from one of our talented stylists. Open seven days a week, walk in anytime. Just get to a Lady Jane's today and receive a precision haircut, scalp massage, hot lather neck shave, and a hot towel treatment. A haircut should not be a chore, it should be an experience. And that's exactly what Lady Jane's has to offer. Open seven days a week, walk-ins are always welcome. There's always a location near you. Lady Jane's haircuts for men, it's wicked awesome. Every year, after a cold and dreary winter, Metro Detroiters come together for two things. Tigers baseball and the best damned party in the world. A new season of Tigers baseball is here. And we're bringing in the new season as only Woodward Sports knows how. Broadcasting live from the biggest party. It's the Grand Slam Festival at the Detroit Opera House. Come party with 4,000 Detroit sports fans. Starting with Wake Up Woodward and rolling into Big D Energy. This is a party you don't want to miss with Detroit's best DJs, food trucks, and of course, shots. Get your tickets now at GrandSlamFest.com. 21 plus. See you April 5th at the Grand Slam Fest. We don't like to brag that we are the toughest sports network in Detroit, but we do have a guy named Darren McCarty on our side. Olivia and McCarty, who had a good knockdown drag on there. Woodward Sports. Awesome is a way a guy can be a guy and get an amazing haircut. I think these haircuts for men. Stop in, sit back, relax. I want to make these town stylish. Make you look and feel great. Walking in the time for these weekly games. It's wicked awesome. All right, we are back at it live. We're downtown Detroit. It's opening day. It's off the hook. Big D Energy broadcasting live from the Grand Slam Fest 2024 at the Detroit Opera House parking lot. There's a heated tent. There's DJs. You guys have seen it. It is on and popping. Today's broadcast brought to you by Glorious Cannabis and Soroki's Crispy Chicken and Pizza. We're just about 15 minutes away from the first pitch. Uh, Rich Baldwin, how good is Colt Keith? Uh, how is Colt Keith not in the starting lineup? Hey, I'm going to tell you guys this. No Kerry Carpenter as well, right? I believe there was no Kerry Carpenter. Here's the deal. A.J. Hinch has Brad Holmes status with me. Yeah. D-Mac, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and debate the lineup every single day. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ride with A.J. Hinch. The Brad Holmes of the Tigers. Yeah. Sorry, man. You know what? And here's the thing. I wouldn't be surprised to see him off the bench. Or the yeah. Or something like this. I think just with he's being inspired with the young guys, and yeah, he wants to play, but maybe it's better for him to take in opening day, the whole atmosphere because of what he needs to come. So, no, AJ Hitch, it's about winning, winning series, winning ball games. And, you know, he wants to bond his in there against the it, It's pretty simple. 
Like, it's pretty simple. He he has car blanche with me, man. Uh, Steve-O Baby. Neil, are there any single ladies right now? I need to get some phone numbers. Well, you need to come down here. Yeah. You got to come down here to the Grand Slam opening day extravaganza. We're right next to the Detroit Opera House. Um, yeah, so jump in, in the chat. People want some Taylor Swift. <laughs> They're asking for it. She makes bang. I don't care what people say. She makes bangers. Yeah. You can you can be try to be cool about it, but you have to admit she makes bangers. She got some That's the bottom line. She got some hits. Um, but yeah, we're talking uh, we're talking Detroit Tigers right now. Uh, that guy up north, Neil, must be tipsy. Hinch getting home status. The team's projected to win 74 games. You can't you can't deny you can't deny AJ Hinch. You can't, you can't no, deny. You can't. They're five and one, man. His decisions they're five, have. They're got five, and five and one. Like scoring one run a game. Yeah. They're five and one. He's he's above he's yeah. above being. You can't criticize him. He's to me, used everybody in the dugout too. He's you. He used every player. Yeah. D Mac, I'm not having it, bro. I'm not. So don't until it's time to criticize that, you know. I don't. I don't think right that time. Who would have thought you would have took in it? You would have took so took this, so took this start now. But it's the way they've done it, the way they've done it in different ways, and led with what we thought would be their best asset as a pitcher, right? The bullpen is just continuing to do what it does last year. How how good Foley looks the last year? So he's got some plan for it. I like it fun to watch. I find myself watching it and not doing things that I have to do. Hundred percent, man. Uh, that guy up north, I like Hinch. He's just not there yet. Well, I don't know what more you need from the resume from the man. Like, I don't understand what more you could ask. Uh, Tiger Town, see y'all for the post game, and don't forget to Woodward Heavyweights. Two to four. You saw Spencer Raxter throughout the afternoon, morning yeah. into the afternoon. You need to watch that show. If anything else, for your own entertainment. Absolutely. Like we will be. We will be. No, you know we'll be out there. Absolutely, we will be. Uh, Stefan, Neil, the get right didn't hit. Let's talk about it. Come on, what'd you say about tonight's game? Uh, are you choosing it today? I know the Marlins were up four to one. Everything was cool. I did tell you this though, DMAC, when they were up four to one and the Cardinals were four to one underdog, you know how I stand. Hedge out, hedge out. But I can't do that live time, so I'm sorry for the people. We were good until we weren't. My bad. I do. Got, I got to update the record, though. I do have to do that real quick. So we lost yesterday. The get right lost. We fall to 55 and 24. 55 and 24. Sorry. I can't win every fucking game. I'm sorry. <laughs> you did go say that they wouldn't win both games. You didn't go as far. I set you up for win the first one, lose the second one. I failed the people. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I will tell you that. It will not happen again. And, and like the way that went, that's not the last time a guy like me Alonzo will be due to walk into one of the key time against you. Yeah. It's gonna happen. Well, didn't the double header play out exactly how I told the people yeah, it would play really out? Nice. It did. No one ever sweeps a double header, ever. Hard right, D-Mac, I think that's about it. I think we've done enough yeah. for today. <laughs> I think these people have done enough for today. Well, don't be an accomplice or an accessory, but a gosh darn, you're gonna be a witness. People watching out. Anyways, happy Spencer Rock straight to us. Open it day. Go Tigers, go Lions. Go, go Tigers. Tigers, absolutely. Two to four, the heavyweight stepping in for Darren McCarty, for my guy Chris, for KG on Neil Rule. Thanks for tapping in. Big D Energy, Woodward Sports Network. Happy opening day, everybody. Yeah. Well, see you later. The only sports network in Detroit that starts with a W. You know, because...